<laughs> oh, we're getting more than that. Like, that's what's crazy, but... He, he'll get, like, three into down strike. And it's like, oh, that person's just dead. I, I've unfortunately been hit by that many, yep. many times. Basically I, turns her into ice climbers. They just I, die. I'm in that MMR where I play a lot of the top players. Okay. And then I get bodied by them, and then I get moved back down to my own skill ah, level. okay, yeah. I'm, like, in that in-between, like... I keep three, making it up, and then I just two. get bopped for a while. I feel you. Yeah. Go. Yeah, I love that there's MMR even this early in the game, yeah. so you can like know where you yeah. stand depending on the people once you're fighting. Full you know? quick play, or once full ranked comes out, quick play definitely just gonna be random. Oh me. god. Yeah. I love playing random in this game. All right, this is way more aggressive than I was actually expecting coming out. Um, yeah. Usually, Sokoko Puffs is known for being one of the like I'm gonna run away a little bit, make you play at my pace. Sure. Um, so I think it's just Esam is taking the fight to him so hard. Yeah, Esam definitely a very aggressive player. You can see with that turnaround grab, yeah. gonna chase him, and there it is—the projectile There's, setup, uh, affectionately known as the banana in the community. Right, Charge it now, a big banana. Oh, right, counters. Team dance around, hits the projectile again, and. Really, there's oh, no calls the, out. Says, "Now nah, you're not going up there." Yeah, you're the projectile to to is uh, transcendent, so you're not able to clank with it or stop it. And yeah, very unfortunately, gets shot by the gun. So the projectile is transcendent, so it's not like you can hit it out of the way. <laughs> you can't shield gust it, but that's basically it. Mm -hmm. To be fair, shield gusting, shield gusting banana is so good because then it scares the Zerong from doing it more. Yeah, they're like, "Wait, this sucks to get hit by." Yeah. Oh, uh, goes oh, for the up Both of them missed that. Yeah. Doesn't happen. You can see Esam constantly baiting with that double jump. So what he'll do is he'll jump once, he'll fastball it, and then as you're trying to put out an attack to uh, punish his landing, he'll use his second jump. Just kind of smash, not 101, but maybe like 201. Maybe it's like, yeah, I was just saying, maybe know? it's like 102, 103. Yeah. Definitely something you see a lot from top players. Because right now he only needs basically one more head. Just getting bopped by that until one of my friends is like, alright, just stop doing that. Yeah. Like, I'm going to keep doing the double jump until you stop falling for it. Yeah. Right now, Zurong has him at 169. Zurong can have some difficulty killing some time, but fortunately for her, she does have up throw. Yep. She can up just get her hand out of it. That's what we're going to see. Um, a lot of people say that Zurong has trouble killing, uh, and Esam thinks that all those people are dumb. Because uh, she's got a lot of good kill moves, and then if you do get the person to 150, that's when up throw starts working. Yes. So you never quite are in that Mark Brightest range. There go, the fourth throw off on the side. Gonna shoot the gun. 64 goes low for the down air. Kind of surprised okay. by that, but doesn't eat a punish for it. All right, we're kind of predicting counter. Yeah, I think he was. Uh, I think he was trying to get the counter because if you counter as Zurong against the bullet, you kind of shoot forward, so you have less distance to recover, right. which is super good. Yep. It's one of those I predict that you're gonna try to get me. Yep. Battle. Yeah, and he has nowhere to go. He just up in the Player opposite direction. Wins. Says that's it. And Isa takes game one. Mm -hmm. Isa one of the top seeds, I think, for this tournament. I think yes. Alsi was yep. one. Um, Isa was probably like in top four, I think. Isa was three, I think. Was he? Okay. Hyperflame was second, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And then that's when you get started. You get to like, I think Wonder was fifth. Then yeah, yeah. Got another game coming up. Wondering what we're gonna see in terms of Sage Pick. So we banned Forbidden Shrine. Kind of interesting because Forbidden Shrine, I I think is one of those stages that when everybody saw it, they were like, oh my god, this is Raim or Heaven. Every Raimer is going to love this. But in you, practice, you, you a lot of people like, oh, don't. I can just bounce off of it. it yeah. Turns out that Three, like, two, as good as that is, one, that also means you have go. one large platform to go over it. Yes. So like, yeah, the, the inside the platform is a no zone, but just go above it and then yeah. you're good. Him getting a bit of a combo. Okay. Puffs. That down special, uh, think of it as a dodge roll with a shot afterwards. You can choose which direction you shoot in. Um, it has some intangibility on it. Doesn't take him off the top. He oh, no, the full stage. one. All right. Often you can combo neutral special into down air, and that's what he was looking for. There's a shot. Not going to do it. Tries to counter the bullet, but doesn't even come out All right, fast wall enough. Jump. Every character does have a wall jump. Very crucial at higher level play. There he goes. The back here will do it as Sakuga Puffs taking the first stock. Definitely looking a lot more comfortable on this stage. Malu Malu definitely seems like his bag. Isisam tries to dash through him. Oh, it's oh. that platform movement. He gets him caught in the shield. Doesn't really confirm anything off of it, but dang, it felt scary. Yeah. Ooh, bad roll. Alright, he's going to be okay trade. with that trade. 
Nothing really happening. Trying to go for the forward. The uh, dash attack no, doesn't happen and eats the down smash. Isip just jumping out of shield. Skoko Puffs is just all over him. All right, so Coco Buffs Gush Shield game too, as it, uh, not only a lot of people use Gush Shield as a projectile, like to throw it back, but it also is really good to set up edge guards. And that's what we're seeing coming out here. Yeah, this is looking ugly for Ethan. This does not look comfortable on this stage against no. this character. There's the back throw. He's in a lot of trouble, has to recover high. Oh, geez, calls him out with that. Now he's off stage. Oh, Just gets wow. the dive kick. That's going to send him too far away. He saves him. Battle. That was dumb. Yeah, a lot of dancing that was around. Sakoko Bus could have just stopped. He could have been like, alright, I'm just the game's over. I think he wanted the three stock so badly that he was willing to not get the kill so he didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> See Sam kinda adjusting in his seat a little bit. And uh, I gotta say, kind of a surprise in terms of that how dominating a, that, that game was. That was a three stock. And then a three stock. Like, yeah. This might be one of those sets where everyone just gets bodied back and forth and it yeah. just depends on who takes game five. What it comes down to is, uh, I was talking to Esam also before the set, Who's and he? uh... Oh, they're, they're learning how bands work. Okay. Um, because it is a best of five. Again, we're used to these online tournaments that have it built in. Um, or oh, like yeah. you're just... Because on Smash GG it just says, like, you click it, whatever. We're, right. <laughs> we are learning how to run LAN here. Basically, yeah. Yep. I mean, it, it, this happens with every game when it's just starting out. The and first major Trying ever, to figure right. out the rule sets, Three, yeah. Two, so we're going to one, Wave Dash Arena go. for this next game. Have to see if uh, Isim can kind of adjust on this one. Has to use up B. Tries to hit the down air, but not kick. quite. Uh, the dive kick does have a spike at part of it. I know it's on the toe hitbox, and that's what he's looking for. He's going to edge cancel it and then stay on stage. Ooh, that spike to the up air was so smart. Nice! Carries him all the way across Isam, the stage. that was sick. And that's the scary thing, is you're trying to DI away to get out of that, but if you DI too much, too far away, you get put perfectly in that position. You gotta be, yep. you gotta sacrifice a few couple hits sometimes, DI in, just yep. so you don't get hit by it's that. It's not like Mark, where let's say DI away is usually the correct option against Zerong. Sometimes you have to try to set you up for a side strike or for that uh, banana. Yeah. There's the back throw right there. He's trying to get the shot here. Oh, oh wow. that was so good! That was the first time we've seen him go for that. It's just a deep call out, gets the dash attack, fully charges, and what he's doing there is he's stopping Sakoko Buffs from using the down special to recover, and he's putting that fear into his heart, so whenever he uses the up beat, Esam is able to punish it every time. Like that, we just saw the strongest down air call out. Spikes him into the depths. And I know that Esam has said that this matchup is not one that he thinks Zurong does particularly well in, which is kind of a rarity. He says that Zurong does well in every other matchup uh, except this one, so maybe he's just a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe it's a playstyle thing, but right now he's just getting juggled. Zurong is an odd character in that uh, Esam thinks that Zurong is one of the best in the game, and then all the other Zurongs think that she's one of the worst in the game right now. Um, I tend to lean towards Esam with this, but I understand the points. Um, Oh, oh see, there like we that. go. Claire, Projectile that into down air. Sam uses the neutral special so much more than all of the other Zurongs, and I think that's the difference maker. I gotta be honest, man. I think I think Zurongs are in the same camp as Weishan's. I don't know if you saw the community matchup chart. They thought that Weishan was the third worst in the game. Weishan's, no. shut the hell up. <laughs> I, I, am, I am with you on this. Weishans and Zurong, stop whining about your character. Jesus. You, you guys have, have it good. So much range. It's ridiculous. No, I can't kill. Then get him to 115, up throw him. Like, fine. Do what? Do it. Tired of it, man. I feel the same way about Zanas. They just they complain about every matchup. It's like, dude, just. I don't know what to tell you. I play like, the it works. That's considered to be the worst in the game, and I still think every matchup's doable. Yeah. Like, yeah. just play the game. Game's incredibly <laughs> balanced for the most part. Oh, I mean, yeah. there's nothing. I, the I mean, worst matchup is probably way off Yingalu, and it's still not worse than like 65 35. Right. It's not yeah. bad at all. The balance is great in this game as we head to Forbidden Shrine Three, for this next one. Isam two, banned this the first one, time, but go. I think they realized that they couldn't do that for this next yeah, game. Yeah, I think they, they weren't actually supposed to have bans in a best Exactly, time. yeah. <laughs> so we're starting off on this one. We said that it oh, might be. Oh, that super yeah. far down air and gets back to the ledge. Incredibly deep on that. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you see that? That is incredibly 
Esam knew that he didn't have the taunt that he wanted, so he did it in person instead. He did the like the o o o taunt where she covers her mouth, except in the player cam. Very unfortunate. God. Oh no. no. He had him again, but he got the weak hit, and right now Esam is just running all over Esam him. Is he has a train going right now, and Sokoko Buffs is really struggling to slow it down. That, that engine is revving. I mean, now Sokoko Buffs does have an opportunity, yeah, has him in disadvantage. Air. Kind of dancing around, but Esam fighting right back, goes for the side B. He, all right, yeah, he's a little crazy for that one. I wonder <laughs> if that was intentional or if that was supposed to be like a, a B reverse banana. It was either B reverse or he was just, or he was just really nice. trying to go for it. Really weird uh, side strike there, but he gets the side special anyway. He's able to take the kill. And right now, Esam just yeah, well on lot, his way. A lot of people, they're so used to, like, oh, it's a sword character. I'm going to dash back and be yes. out of this range. And then you no, you just dash back into the side strike exactly, special range. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're away from my sword now. Yeah. <laughs> Give, give me a split second here. Nice up strike by Spookapuff using a really tricky movement. He's able to get back in and out, but unfortunately I feel like it might be a little bit too little too late. Depends on how early he can take off the stock. The fourth throw can be pretty yeah. strong. Tries to shoot the reverse shot. He's trying to make Esam regret that SD, but it doesn't really look like he's going to. Oh, oh no. Oh man, that was a, not a ricochet shot that we were looking for. Nice right. back throw. He's doing it. Okay, I think he tried to ricochet shot. Unfortunately, upbeat in the wrong direction. Sometimes that can happen and when the that game strike. starts to go like this. You can make these mistakes as the down air lands. Sokoko Puffs will wins. fall to the loser's bracket as Isam makes it into winner's quarters. Wait, wasn't that... that was, no, that was game four. That was game four? It was 3-1, okay. yeah. Okay, it just wasn't on the sc uh, screen correctly. Yeah. Cool. So good stuff to Isam. He takes a set as he that looks at his adoring public.